Hey guys, it's me, Zellen, and I just wanted to do a quick video for you. I was watching a video the other day by Blaze, and she was talking about um, what kind of witchy stuff that you might carry with you all the time. And in a previous video, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure in my um, jewelry video, I talked about my uh, pentacle ring. I basically don't take that off unless I'm going to the shower or something like that. And you stay out of this. He's like gone crazy and is trying to steal my cell phone. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Cats are psycho. Um, but yeah, so I wear that all the time. I've also got my um, my tattoo, which of course doesn't come off. And I don't. I've never been one to hide my tattoo from anyone. So, you know. Those are both things that are very out there and um, do their job. Another thing that I have, um, I recently was able to finally get a new cell phone, and so I'm finally able to use this again. But um, years ago, when I was um, doing custody battles for my son, I was in a woman's shelter and actually in a homeless shelter for uh, a couple months in Calgary. And if you ever get to go to Calgary, Alberta, go down to 17th Ave, and there's this really cool little Buddhist shop. Um, it's like a Tibetan import store, and they've got everything there from the bells and all that. And I bought some flags, and I, um, the people that ran the homeless shelter, I bought them a present from there for their help during my time. But I got this, which I don't know how well you can see it. Um, and I'm going to butcher the name. It's called a dirge or a dorge. Um, but what it is, it's a Tibetan thunderbolt. Um, and it's for protection and luck and all those things. So I finally have a new phone, which means I finally can use it again. But that used to always be on my old phone. Um, so I've got that. And that, of course, now I'm carrying around all the time. Um, and then the other thing that I have that I carry around quite a bit is my little blue bag, which if you ever hang out with me, you'll probably know that I probably got this in my pocket when we're out of the house. Um, it's just a little blue cloth bag, and the only reason why it's blue is because that was the color of, um, of dyed cloth that I had left over to make a little bag out of, so it ha just happens to be blue. Um, and yes, I did dye this. This is my dye job. Um, and in it, I've got whatever stones I feel are necessary for that day. So, for example, in, in it right now, I have, um, here, I'll show you. In it right now, I've got citrine, uh, tiger's eye, um, tourmaline, and an amethyst. And then another thing that I will carry in it is this, which that, I really don't like how I painted the outside of that. And I don't really like how I painted the back, but the inside is what I liked. I just sort of painted the outside. But it's sort of, um, it's like a little mini shrine. I made this when I was pregnant with my son. So five years ago now. You two are horrible. Horrible. Anyway, I made this five years ago. Um, so it's got, I don't know how well you can see, but it's got the god and the goddess. They're sitting um, side by side holding hands and then I've got a stag and a hare and yeah and then the little symbols at the bottom um, and this is actually part of a series of things that I had made before I had my son um, I also made um, like little that were like this they're little painted chips of wood like this um, with Bast and Athena and Bastet um, and like just all the different gods and goddesses that I kind of worked with. They were awesome. I don't, unfortunately, it's part of the stuff that I don't really have anymore. Unfortunately. So yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I carry around with me all the time. Um, other than that, I carry. I always have a notebook of some sort. I usually try to keep my uh, my little black travel book of shadows with me when I get out of the house, just because it's got like the list of all the herbs I need or or want, um, and all the other stuff like that that I might need or want. And so, when I go for walks and stuff like that, I keep an eye out. And if I find 
for example, there's a lot of cedar trees around here, and I have um, oak trees in my yard that, you know, it's like, oh, I want, you know, I write down I need more acorns. Well, when I go out, I'll remember to get acorns because I wrote it down in my book, you know, and when I'm walking around, it's like, oh, do I need more of this, or do I need more of that, or whatever. It's just handy. I just like having it around. So, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my little video, and I will make another one for you very shortly. See you later. Cheers.